All right, what's going down, YouTube? This is uh, my fourth time making this video, and fourth time in probably two weeks making this video. Um, I think the last time I got like 11 minutes in, I could have swore I closed the video out, which I'm pretty sure I closed the video out. And then I left the app for some reason. When I came back to the app, it was gone. I looked through all the files, all my pictures, videos. I couldn't find the video. So I just been thinking, uh, did I leave anything out in the video uh, that I didn't discuss? And I don't think I did since it deleted. So I'm going to just repeat everything that I said. Um, I'm here to give you all an update on basically what I've been doing the last four months that I haven't been uh, really consistent. So the last the, the video I posted two weeks ago, that was actually about four and a half, five months ago. When I recorded when I was at my last company, uh, letting y'all know the, the difference uh, between local and regional. But this this one is more of an update and I'm going to let y'all know where I'm at. Uh, I'm going to let y'all know uh, how's it going, the good and the bad. Uh, just like any other video I made, I've been completely honest about everything. The company, I don't care if they see it. I mean. I'm, I'm just keeping it honest. I don't want to. I don't want y'all to feel like I'm, I'm dragging y'all to a company or I'm, I'm giving y'all misled information because that's not the case. Uh, but for the last four, four, four and a half months, going on five months, I've been with a company called Central Transport. Uh, it's the yellow, black trucks, uh, Peterbilts and Internationals, I believe. Uh, the company, the company is not a bad company. When I first joined, I was, I was against the, I mean, I still am against it, but now I'm a little more lean back just because at the end of the day, it makes you more money. Uh, and that's the, that's the dock work. So you do your driving, you, you start at a home time. I'm going to give y'all my whole day. This is my every day, Monday through Friday. I come to work 730. The trailer should either be loaded or unloaded. Uh, or not, my bad. The trailer should either be uh, ready or close to being ready. As soon as you get there, you don't have to touch any freight for the night drivers. Uh, I don't know too much about the morning shift. I hear it's a little different, but I'm, I'm explaining my shift. Uh, for the night drivers, you get to work. It's either done or close to done. You hook up to your trailer. You leave to, I guess, uh, I'm not sure if most, most routes are dedicated. I'm pretty sure. And there's a few people that's, that's just like that run here and there whenever it's needed, different locations. Uh, but you're driving to, from what I understand, all night drivers drive to other central transport terminals. And you, you meet up with a few other drivers. Or not a few, my bad. You meet up with a lot of other drivers. Uh, you get unloaded. And y'all work as a team to get all the trailers and everything unloaded. And you, you take your load back to your home terminal. And then you unload that by yourself. So my, my, I, I drive out to Pennsylvania every night. I get here, drive my trailer. I don't unload when I get here because most most drivers uh, that start on night shift, they start at 7. I'm not sure why mine starts at 7.30. I'm guessing because it's just a later a later run. Uh, but they all the forklifts will be taken by the time that I get here. So I just drive my trailer, hook up to the trailer that I'm going to take. I hook up to the same door every night. And once your trailer is ready... You hook up to it, you leave, go back to your home terminal, and you unload your trailer, and then you go home. That's pretty much your night. Say you're starting out at $26 an hour, all the time on the dock work is added, $26 an hour. Uh, and, I mean, that, that adds up pretty fast. There's guys that make more money than me because they're putting more dock time than me, which I don't really care. I worry about getting to my location unload my stuff and I leave. I don't stay around to help. Uh, I don't stay around to help extra people. I mean, mainly I make it back to, to my home terminal 
about an hour, hour and a half before everyone. Uh, so when they're pulling up, I'm just now leaving. I'm done with my stuff. That's that's just about every night, maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks. There's a lot of people there when I'm still unloading just because I might have got held back. Uh, you never know. Traffic load might be done a little later. Like now it's 1230. My load should, should be finishing up around this time and I should be hitting the road in the next. I should be on the road before one o'clock. And then I'll make it back around for us, finish my trailer, be done, be out of there by 530 every every single morning. Uh, it's rare. To, it's rare that I have to stay over. I don't I don't stop in between trip to trip. I go from one location to the next unless I just didn't eat before before coming in. So then I'll stop, grab what I grab, get to my location, head straight back. No stopping after that. I stop once if I have to stop. But. Uh, I'm pretty sure the company can have it broken down the cents per mile with every run, but they really just put a dollar sign and an amount to how much you make per run. Like me coming to Pennsylvania to, to my terminal that I run every day. It's, uh, it's a, it's a certain amount. So it's, it's a set amount. So like, say if it was one fifty. It's 150 there, 150 back, and then how much ever time you put on the dot time, starting it out, I think it's 26, so it'll be $26 an hour for all the time on the dock. So, and the max time that you can put in each location. So, say I drive to Pennsylvania, because you can't, you 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 don't start out loading your trailer when you first get there. It should already be done, or they should already be working on it to finish up. So, when you get to your location. The max time you can put on the dock is two and a half hours. But keep in mind, you're working with 15, 20 other drivers. So it's not all it doesn't all tie down to your trailer, though, because y'all have y'all help each other unload their trailers as well. So two and a half hours there, two and a half hours back at the home home terminal. You do that every day in the week. That's that's some good money. Twenty six, just not even the like the, the route pay. You should automatically make around a thousand just for the route pay in the week and then the dock time that's the extra money right there that's the extra easy money now i i never touched a a, a forklift before this job so i had to get pretty good fast at the forklift because i knew the winter time is coming around and i don't do the code so no matter how much you you be prepared for the code if some people just don't do the code and they they be too cold then that's just them that's unfortunately that's me so i work as fast as i can to get in and get out then i head home uh but yeah some uh, probably most of them make more money than me just because uh well i ain't gonna say most because i see a couple people who get in and get out but the more time you put on the dock the more you can be bringing home because you get sixteen hundred dollar checks uh Uncle Sam gonna tax that ass, and uh, he gonna be taking about four, about four, four fifty, five hundred of that, uh, maybe three fifty four. Uh, it all depends on on how you got your stuff set up, but that's that's a basic description of my job. I'm pretty sure we got most holidays off, uh, and when I'm when I'm telling y'all about my job and updating y'all about what I'm doing, it has nothing to do with y'all uh, joining. And put me as a referral and for me to get a referral bonus. I don't care about the referral bonus. If that's something that y'all wanted to do, I just want y'all to know that if if I'm being put on a on an application as a referral, then that check that I receive, it will be split down the middle between us two. But I don't remember any videos that I've ever posted me asking for people to, to, to uh, put me as a referral for this and that. It's just not my, it's just not my cup of tea. And I'm never trying to get y'all to join a company and uh, y'all, y'all blinded by anything. So I'm going to tell y'all some of the stuff that irritates me. And at first, the thing that irritated me was the dock time just because, or the dock work, just because I never, uh, I just thought if, if you're driving all night, 
why come back and have to unload your trailer? And I've never, I've never been to a company that, that made you do that. So I was, I was a little thrown off about it. Now I just see it as it's an opportunity to make more money because that's what it really is. Uh, so that doesn't bother me anymore. But I mean, you run into the same stuff that you, that you will run into other companies like, uh, dispatch really isn't a problem. I can't complain about dispatch. I mean, no, the main thing that people complain about about Central Transport is the trailers. The trailers, the most, a lot of trailers are outdated. And when you get one of them trailers that's fucked up, uh, it, some stuff like closing the doors or the lights flickering or the, the pigtails and stuff and, and like that is all janky. It might mess it. It may, damn sure messes up my night, uh, which I shouldn't let it. But uh, other than that, like they they give you room to make more money with dock dock time and dock pay. Twenty six dollars is not bad. That it accumulates really fast. Uh, so I mean, honestly, I felt like it was a lot of. Uh, I felt like it was a lot of problems here at first just because I was new to the experience of being local. And yes, Central Transport is a local uh, is a local company uh, from where I am. I don't know if other locations is uh, is regional or if they have an over the road uh, program, but I know I'm home every night. I'm making pretty decent money. And I've been here, it should be rolling on five, four and a half months. Uh, I wouldn't even say it's a bad company. I mean, any company that you're at, that you're used to making a certain amount of money at, uh, you would always think you wish you could make more. But honestly, I don't I don't run into a lot of problems with this, with this company. I get to work nine times out of ten, the load is ready. I get the paperwork, I hook up head to my location, wait for them to load my trailer, uh, which, like I said, I should be rolling out of here pretty soon. We have handhelds uh, to, to communicate with dispatch and all of that, line haul. Uh, I mean, the, the equipments, I'm pretty sure the, the trucks, tractors are all uh, 2017 and up. Uh, majority of the trucks are governed at 65, which I dislike, but whatever. If you got longer runs from your home terminal, you can get your truck bumped up. Uh, yeah, my, my only concerns about this company, to be honest, is, is, uh, is some trailers. Some trailers are just shitty, and you might find that at any company, most companies. Um, you keep hearing that ding noise. That's my idol. Uh, that's starting to cut on but with any questions that anyone has just just let me know I'm, I'm trying to get actually not no trying to I will be uploading a video once or twice a week depending on if I if I can't get the next video off my mind then I'll just post it um, I'm here to communicate with y'all guys or females people who's trying to get into trucking or that's that's will be a part of my next part of my channel because I will be growing my channel to other things here soon. Any questions that anybody have, just let me know. I'm here to answer it. Y'all be safe out here on the road.